Hello again, Steve here with a few comments on what I'm going to ask as a question is this, is the Islamization of the world possibly beneficial or could there be a silver lining to what's going on? Because we see that, well, with respect to the Western world or the white Western world, which is currently, I believe, at about 6% of the world's population and dropping fairly fairly steadily. And the, the major movement that has a real focus to it, which is moving in to the West, is the Islamic world. So the question is, is there, is there a possible silver line to this? And I, I think there, there could be the case for that, certainly. So what we see basically now is seems to be a concerted effort between the left and the Islamic world to destroy the vestiges of Western civilization. And they are, it's so obvious that they are at odds with each other. I mean, the, for example, you know, the Islamic world tends to see homosexuality as an abomination, whereas the left seems to celebrate it. The Islamic world seems to see a great d distinction between uh, men and women. In fact, women are not fully human, whereas the, the left seems to want to elevate womanhood to above the level of manhood and various other things, individual liberty and so on, although I think it's only ostensible on the case of the left, but nevertheless they are at odds with each other, so I think what would happen is allies will be allies when they have a common enemy. But once the takeover has been completed, if it happens at all, then one of those two is going to throw the other one under the bus. In other words, the left is going to go to war with Islam and vice versa if their common front wins against the vestiges of Western civilization. And I think that Islam will win. Why do I think that, if that's the case? Well, because the leftists are not having babies, for the most part. They rather kill babies than have babies. And Islam is having lots of babies, so they, the demographic will be much stronger for the Islamic world. And furthermore, the Islamic world have a very fundamental, long-term, larger cause to work for. And they have their god behind them, after all, whereas the god of the left is rather fickle, I would say, because it's just money and power. It's all about uh, self-gratification. That's all, all the left is really after. Whereas the Islamic world, it is self-sacrifice. And that, to me, has a lot longer and a lot stronger staying power. So... If it gets to the point where the vestiges of civilization, in order to survive, must choose either the left or Islam, I would say that maybe it's choosing Islam. Because at least Islam has a bit of traditionality to it, right? It sees the distinction between men and women, for example. We could disagree with how they see the role of men and women. We could disagree with that, for sure. Lots of people could disagree with that. But at least they're rational enough to admit that there is a difference between men and women. And the system that they've had has worked for hundreds and hundreds of years. So it might be that the vestiges of Western civilization, just like the vestiges of the Jewish culture within the Spanish realm, had to disguise itself within the Catholic Church, right? I mean, the, the, the Jews in the Iberian Peninsula either had to convert or or they basically had to, or they would get killed, I guess, or but whatever they had to do, they had to, to survive and, and to prosper. They had to disguise themselves and, you know, make the case, make an outward expression of allegiance to the church. And maybe that's what the West will have to do, the vestiges of the West. Because there's a lot of things within Islam which are very compatible otherwise. You know, there is the the history of the of the Saracen Empire, the Saracen Empire, which was, uh, some would argue, you know, aside from the American Revolution and the Ameri or the American experiment of freedom, the American Republic, some would argue that was the last such experiment, where you had this vast area of many autonomous regions, which basically worked together in relative freedom. And you know, I see great potential for also reformations, reformation movements taking place within Islam, right? Whereas 
in many cases now, Islam Islamic people would see their text as literal truths. And perhaps with new insight and new light being shed upon the Quran and, and its origins being written far prior to the arrival of the Prophet Muhammad, perhaps there will be movements within the Islamic world to say, okay, the texts are they are metaphorical, right? They're, 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 they're stories that have lessons within them. They're not literal truths, right? And therefore, you know, uh, jihad is really what takes place within us, for example. There's a war going on within us in terms of the fakery of us and the truth of us. And a lot of these sorts of things, you know, just like within Christianity, there are those of fundamentalists who would say that, no, what is said in the Bible is literally truth, historically. And there's others, you know, tend to be more liberal, Catholic, and so on, who would say, no, that the stories of Adam and Eve or something, they're just, they're just metaphorical. They're just... Um, their stories, uh, ancient stories, in an old storytelling manner to teach us something deeply psychological about ourselves individually and our relationship with the world and what we can learn from that. So I remain optimistic about the, the going forwards of the world. And the reason I am is because, well, I've written about this quite a while ago in my book, um, Inner Genie, I believe, or I may have written about it in my book, Coffee Chat. I'm not sure which one it's in there, but I wrote about the, the God of Equation and the Continuum of Advancement, which is this tendency of humanity to continue to evolve, right? And each challenge we come across is an opportunity to evolve, right? And that's how evolution basically happens. We see it with the animal world and the, and the world of, of whatever kind of organism, if subjected with a hardship or a challenge, it stresses it, right? And it either distresses it, which knocks it back for a while, or it eustresses it, which, which causes great strength to overcome, you know, the positive stress. So maybe with what we're going through here, it's going to shake us out of our malaise that we've been in for so long, which has caused this, this nonsense this this weird thinking that that you know we're entitled to something as when we're the, and we're somehow special as as people as organisms within this world and uh, perhaps perhaps the islamic world and the islamic influence with with its with its nature to be so dedicated to something greater than themselves Maybe that's going to teach us something really important. And maybe the, war, the real war that's going to take place is between the leftists and the Islamics. And maybe we have to, maybe we will eventually ally ourselves, those of us who search for sanity in the world, with the Islamic side of the equation, because it might come down to two choices. It's like what people had in the U.S. Two flawed choices. They had Hillary Clinton or, or Donald Trump, right? Given a choice, many of them would rather neither of those choices. But because that's all they had, they just looked at the two and those with any sanity saw, well, the, the one, the Hillary Clinton, just this neocon, this unbelievable warmonger was so, so bad that they would take a chance on the businessman who maybe had a semblance of decency left in him, right? And maybe the Islamic people and I've talked to a lot of different, different Islamic people, and they come across as having um, sort of a pragmatic decency to them. And, and this might be what we have to ally with at a certain point. Just a thought anyway, and a, a, a thought maybe to set us off in, in a right direction for our, for our new year. And I uh, just wanted to say, well, I'll also say while I'm at it, Happy New Year to everyone. And... Y'all again soon. Bye for now.